cheese. It is, man. It's cheesy as hell. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Howdy. Hey, Noodle. Thank you, love, for being here. I do appreciate you. Uh, so, okay, we're, <laughs> we're gonna try to play some more Final Fantasy 16. Hopefully, today goes better than yesterday. And I don't know how well it comes across on stream, but exciting things happened, man. I was talking yesterday about how, wow, I really hope that next patch for the game comes out before we finish playing it. But at this point, I'm not too positive it will. It fucking dropped today, dude. I'm so excited. Motion blur gone. None of it. There is, like, as you spin it around again, I don't know how well it comes across on stream. But you can tell that the frame rate's a little inconsistent now. <laughs> um, Do in no small part, I'm sure, to the lack of motion blur. But I am more than happy to... to that's, that's a decent compromise to, for me, personally. I hate motion blur, man. I hate it so much. I despise the shit. And it's in so many games these days as not only a default, but a lot of times as, like, the only option and uh i'm just glad we can get rid of it in here yes i did feed her she has been fed love nate what's up my guy hello how you doing dude happy to see you here man i hope things are going well for you tonight god the game feels loud to me right now i need to turn down my headset a little bit there we go and i won't be yelling into the microphone quite as much She's licking her leg and playing dead on the rug. Yeah, she, uh... I noticed whenever I fed the cat... Damn it, dude. I'm so used to... Using that to teleport towards people. Anyways, that, uh... Like, she was super excited for the food. She went right forward and everything. But she, like, was paying more attention to me leaving the room today. So, I don't know. I don't even know if she finished eating or not. But... Eating manga. What kind, man? Anything I would... I would know or be interested in. The guy at work keeps trying to get me to read. Oh, God. I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. It, it looks really good to me. Like, is it like level something? Lost level? I don't remember what it's called. But anyways, I, I've seen it before on the shelf, and it's looked interesting to me before. Um, and he highly suggests it. So there's a decent chance I'll be giving it a shot here sooner or later. I guess they're turning it into an anime here real soon too, though. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll be super lazy and just wait for the anime to be released. He won't be too happy about that. But <laughs> I'm tempted to anyways. Maybe she's hot. I mean, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. It's warm. It's not as bad today as, like, yesterday, I feel like. But it's still, still pretty toasty. Oh, damn it, I hit the chocobos. I can't believe how much range that attack has on, on it, man. Like, I need to look at the control schemes a little bit. Because, like, I would much rather, like, L1 be magic, honestly. That way I could hold that while doing other stuff because like you can charge up your magic to get these more powerful versions of the spells and you can use spells in between attacks like it's part of a chain it's really cool but you have to hold the controller like this basically right like you gotta <laughs> like you gotta do a little bit of something like this here to attack and charge your magic it's weird um which just ends up making magic more or less useless not that it's ever been great, but strongest, the strongest sorcerer who makes full use of the quote-unquote strategy guide. Wait, is that that's the full name of the anime? Or the manga, rather? That's, <laughs> that's interesting. Psycho, what's up, dude? Welcome, man. Happy to see you, my guy. How's it been? I feel like we haven't seen you in a week or two. Oh, what? How did he... He got broke free. That's, that's not supposed to happen. He's supposed to stay stuck to the sword when I do that. That was weird. 
Nate, I don't know if you've heard when I've been talking about this game. I know you don't have a PS5 yet, or at least last I heard you didn't. Um, but one of the guys that did the combat for DMC actually did the combat for this game, which I felt like was pretty cool. <laughs> Working your new job, sitting on your ass and doing nothing, also known as a forklift driver. Very cool, man. I've considered trying to get like proper training and do something like that, but I don't know, man. I enjoy driving the forklift at my current job. But, like, forklifting at my current job is nothing, I feel like, compared to, you know, being a proper forklift driver either. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe someday. I'm actually looking at possibly starting a new job or getting a new job, but nothing set in stone or anything yet, though. It's all up in the air at the moment. Get OSHA certified never have to worry about getting a job again. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's something I have considered doing. Because while I've never been OSHA certified or anything like that, I, I am certified to run one at my business. Granted, OSHA certification is a lot more than what my place of work requires. Like, but at least I have some practice with it. Oh, you bastard. Ah, damn it, we got unstuck. This thing's got some health to him, dude. And some damage output. Nope, oh, nope, not this one. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I told you that yet or not, Nate, but it is really cool. Like, the game is flawed in a lot of ways, and the more I play it, the more clear it is that it's flawed in a lot of ways. But the combat is one thing that I think they did really well with. Other than wishing there was a little bit more point to the magic, like, I don't know if there's anything I would really change about the combat of the game. Um, magic just kind of feels pointless, which sucks, but it is what it is, though. Can read a special language, and his hero's part the heroes is a kick at ass kicks him out. The sorcerer says, God, I can't read! <laughs> Being gifted the guide by a citizen, now he's adventuring. Ah. Uh, possibly a full company swap, but like I said, it's it's all up in the air. Nothing's certain yet or anything. Just something that's being looked into. Come on, go down already. Thank you, sir. You weren't even, like, one of the big baddies or anything. You were just a regular badass. <laughs> I've had a license, which is cool, but if you get OSHA, you can go anywhere because everywhere needs forklift drivers. Current plan is to get a couple years' experience so you can move to England. Hey, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, what's dumb is, uh, not going to call them out directly or anything, but, again, my workplace doesn't recognize OSHA certification, <laughs> which is really dumb. Because we all know, everybody knows that the OSHA certification is a lot larger process than what our certification process is. And uh, I can train people to use forklifts at our at where I work. Um, I can certify other drivers. And we got a guy in who was, was OSHA certified, had his little card with him and everything. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, we asked about it, and straight up, they were just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. He still has to be certified at blank company. Like, <laughs> like that is dumb. So, basically, I just took him out back to where the forklift was. Uh, we screwed around a little bit, and he moved a couple stacks of, of 
product around and then yeah <laughs> it's like obviously you know what you're doing you're good signed off on the guy <laughs> like it was so dumb man lord elwyn would never have stood for this quiet you nothing but loyalists jill look Rosaria Ooh, the Black Shield, so the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What they actually do? Are any of them hiding bearers, or like? What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Probably just killing people for the hell of it, man. That's that's you the kind of vibe the Black Shield the gives off. Like the Miller's son. All right, I heard you the first time. Before we talk to you, you got anything for sale, Mr. Merchant, sir? Much, Doubt there's anything I yours. care about, but actually, you know what? Cobalt tassels. Oh. That's fancy. Not going to buy it, but fancy nonetheless. No. Um, might as well get a refill on potions and high potions, though. Much obliged. The money doesn't really matter anyways. <laughs> like, <laughs> So why not? Hello, youth. Stacking racks, you've done palletized work your entire career, and now they what want me to stack metal earlier? racks on four individual spikes. It's hard. Someone's been stirring up yeah, school. most of the work I've done has also been pallet based, so I can imagine it probably would be a bit of a pain in the ass for myself as well. Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. We're going now, sometimes, house. you know, it's stacking pallets or stacking, like, pallet product pallet, stuff like that, maybe. But it's all been more or less pallet work. Loading, unloading trucks that have pallets on it, stacking products, palletized product um, on top of each other with a forklift. Things like that. Probably similar to what you've done in the past, I would imagine. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a black shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the are sending nowhere. And they thought we might be arboring firebrands. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these Why does it require special certification or clearance for the Toyota? <laughs> like are the to Toyotas that much different? We've had three different forklift brands. Toyota um was like this beige color one. We had this yellow one. I can't remember the name of it now off the top of my head. And then there's a rental unit that we've gotten a few times that I would never remember the name of. What was the name of the yellow one? The yellow one was the one we had when I first got there. It was the smallest of the bunch. Um, and it... <laughs> they didn't have the tires replaced in so long that the... Yale! Yes, Yale. Thank you. That was it. Um, I actually still have a key for that one on my uh, old key ring that's in my, my drawer downstairs. But anyways... Um, it uh the tires hadn't been changed on it so wrong that there was a good probably like 15 percent grade on the tire where there was uneven <laughs> wear on it and like it was bad man uh driving that thing in the winter was fun because there was basically no traction with the ground um good stuff good stuff <laughs> had some fun times on that thing for sure drifting in a forklift is like no other Going up on two wheels as you're making your turns and whatnot, because, oh, God. Good times. Good times. Fun stuff. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? 
We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. Bro, we trying to help, why. though. I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will oh, my for sure, man. Wrath, then I will gladly it depends. Like, if I'm indoors, I keep it slow. But, like, outdoor. A lot of my work was outdoor when I was driving it consistently. You go pretty full speed then because it was, like, you know, back of the building or maybe around the side of the building or whatever. So it's pretty clear view all around. There was no chance of people really coming out or anything like that. With a knife to their throat. Um, but yeah, ours were belief that if they limited to, I believe, mercy. 12 miles per hour anyways. So it's not like you could go super fast, but still. You were right. Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well... Whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand <laughs> against the Empire? <laughs> a new ally would certainly be welcome. No shit, sick. Can we find them before That's the insane. Do? Yeah. Our our limiter was set to to roughly twelve on it. Like, again, indoors completely different story of course um but outside 12 was uh what the limiter was set to on it and where's the fire we had strict time limits so like my shift let's say ended at nine o'clock it actually back then when i was doing it consistently i believe it ended at 12 this was like five years ago it's kind of hard to remember but at roughly 12 as when my shift ended and i had from 11 to 12 to load one or two trucks um completely full from back to front and we had to go probably about a quarter mile yeah probably about a quarter mile for each trip not like like it was probably an eighth of a mile down eighth of a mile back to the truck and then you had to repeat that what 22 times for pallets i believe it was again going off of of memory um, so once you, you know, approach the door, you would slow down approaching the door and with the way things worked where we were, we went in forward, uh, cause the truck, like that was the only way to get it into the truck. So you came through the bay doors, uh, forward and then up into the, uh, trailer, dropping the pallets, backing out and then forward all the way down full speed usually. Cause again, you were in a hurry grabbing your load and then backing up in reverse since now there was a full load on the front of the truck you couldn't see above um full speed all the way back and then repeat over and over and over again <laughs> and uh yeah will take us through the mountains and yeah at our where i worked that was just pretty standard for anybody with a forklift certification um but again our forklift certification is a lot more lax than somewhere like you know anywhere that requires OSHA certification or anything like that <laughs> so yeah <laughs> and then like the other thing that we had really commonly use it for was uh making about a quarter mile trip per direction but taking freight off the truck to a to a different area um a little bit farther around like that was pretty common so again you know just because of the distance not necessarily the time limit there but because of the distance you would usually go pretty quickly things like that our forklifts weren't used around people all that often so like yeah oh that's true having the <laughs> i mean look i'm not gonna say i've never broken a uh, board wall or <laughs> anything like that i've never pierced one but I, I may have broken a wall or two. But that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> having the actual 
uh, pallets on the front of it with the loan helped a ton because the pallet helped distribute <laughs> the 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 pressure going into the truck. So yeah, plus I mean going you know in and out of the truck, you would only go a few miles per hour anyways. Going up the ramp into the truck, hell of a lot slower than not even one mile per hour. But once you're on it, you know, step on the gas a little bit to get it in there. Probably, probably about walking speed. Walking speed's roughly three miles per hour, so right around there, give or take. Told me the test. I'm pretty sure I could pass it with the quick corner down. How the machine works? Yeah, it's 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 very easy. Um, the test is literally an obstacle course that you have to go through successfully without hitting any barriers. You know, without going outside the designated area. Um, showing whether or not you can accurately stack freight or pallets of freight uh, on top of each other. Um, showing that you actually read, you know, the training materials for the machine and know, like, how to change the propane tanks and, uh, uh, you know, what the masses what this control is that control is how to stop it how to put it in park how to do all of that stuff check the hydraulic lines you know all that sort of crap and uh that was that was the entire test obstacle course can you drive it can you stack stuff do you know the training or did you actually do the training material read the training material that was that was it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the unloading uh, and loading areas of where I worked at could get pretty crazy sometimes um, whenever we were on super time constraints our loading area could technically handle three we had two loading areas loading slash unloading and each one could technically handle three trailers at a time um, but there was only space for one lift to come through at a time so you generally wouldn't have more people more than one person on a lift per side at any given time although it has happened on a couple rare occasions um but there's generally also people moving around the area so we had to be a little bit safer because you know people i actually got into a uh, a little bit of a spat with a guy because we had some an outside company in doing some some work on the building and uh we have you know lines that you can put up to tell people like hey this thing's going on over here do not cross this line sort of thing you know and uh they kept crossing the line and i almost hit them a couple of times coming through the bay doors to get into the building and so finally I just had to tell the guy like after asking him not to cross that line a couple of times I had to tell him like look if you cross that line and I don't see you you're going to die <laughs> like there's nothing else about it I have a ton at least on the front of this thing plus all the way to this forklift coming through this door if I hit you you're done <laughs> and finally the dude got the hint to stay on the opposite side of the line because again with the way our loading unloading area was you had to go forward through the doors and uh you can't see in front of your load <laughs> like <laughs> there's just no way to see in front of it so if people wanted to be dumb and step in front of the forklift like dude like that's your life and now i have to deal with the fact that i killed someone like that is that is shit also i just noticed that the stream has died so that's good i'm <laughs> i'm happy to see that Twitch has uh, figured out the problems they were having since yesterday. Um, yep. <laughs> oh, oh, it's trying to catch up. There we go. It was it was going real fast there for a second. The average upload speed is six kilobits a second, or six thousand kilobits a second rather. It was going at twenty-two thousand there for a moment, trying to catch up. It's doing it again, and it's dropping. This is. This is good. I'm so glad that Twitch is such such a nice, stable platform. I have no idea how much of my, my story was actually went through, but anyways. Rue, hello, dude. Welcome. Barely alive. What's going on, man? You work directly besides an 18-wheeler way station. That's cool. 
we don't have a way station or anything like that because uh we only ship one specific thing out of our building well okay we ship a couple different things but nothing that would possibly go over weight for the 18 wheelers for the trailers um i know where we get our product from though they have way stations and stuff because yeah <laughs> there have been a couple of times i was a manager for a little while at that place and uh there were times when trailers had to be percent of drop frames equals percent of failure yeah no that's the thing like i'm not the one dropping frames frames missed due to rendering lag three skipped frames due to encoding lag zero <laughs> um dropped frames due to the network a little bit higher at two percent uh but it's not it's not on my end like i i could check and i check it constantly but it's nearly always my internet's fine and twitch is just being a pain in the ass we were having problems yesterday too where the the stream just completely died like three times four times and i just gave up at that point like bruh Clive. Zame and pain in the ass people homework have been taking over your life it's gross dude i hope things start to get a little bit easier for you soon tor will be angry man you were told to stay in your homes the black shields you know who we are and still you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. Bro, I don't think you know what you're getting in into. Darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. I... On these, <laughs> our swords we swear. Pretty sure y'all are gonna die. And it's probably not gonna take much. <laughs> I'll show you a truth. Oh, didn't realize that thing was uh, wasn't available at the moment. Front tandems, rear tandems. Yeah, see, I remember like oh, a tiny bit of that from when I managed the place. But like I said, we never really had to worry about weight. So I never would have been able to quote those exact numbers to you like that. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. We can see him. There you go. I don't know how I feel about that ability. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest with you. Wire right and bloody hides. How fancy. Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. Oh, Dill. Hmm. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Seems like his end was going to be swift either way, man. <laughs> we didn't touch him and he just... He died. <laughs> but like any good villain, he couldn't help resist but give up his plans. Wait, is this literally Ald Hill right here? I feel like it's probably a trap, dude. 
like pretty clearly a trap if that's the case find something boy Hopefully it's our mother so we can just deal with her, man. That's what I'm looking forward to most in this game. Well, they dead. Yup. They dead, dead. This was my mother's doing. Like I said, let's go. Let's take care of her. Take her the hell out, dude. But why? Why would anyone? I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this. Oh, Clive. Sword through the chest is a quick way to make her stop. Just saying. I will learn what madness drives her, and I will end it. We should go. Yes. You could at least, like, throw them on a house and call it a pyre or something like that, dude, instead of just, like, leaving them there. <laughs> we can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. I'm with Rue on this one, dude. I say we just kill her and then <laughs> figure out answers later. I've been wanting her to die since we first laid our eyes on her, man. Literally, the first time she showed up in the game, I was like, I do not like this woman. <laughs> embrace the chaos. Embrace it. Oh, God. Any stuffs? Ah, that's cool. Like a way to unload and unload the, the boats from the, the sheds. That's nifty. I never really thought about how they would, like, get them in the water before after building them. I mean, I've seen, like, images of them being built, like, in special piers, you know, more modern stuff. Where they'll use, like, dams or locks or whatever you want to call it. To, to drain out all of the water, build the boat, and then slowly let the water bitch. back in. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. But I never thought about how they would do it, like, before times, you know? Before they could easily just pump water out of an enclosed area. Didn't happen to come by way of Old Hill, did you? Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. Bruh, it's literally right there. What do you mean you didn't happen to come from the way of Aldil, did you? Which other way would we have come from? <laughs> There's no other way to get here. What are you on about, guy? It almost makes it feel that was meant to be a lot larger area than it was, you know, between the two sections. Same with whenever that guy was telling us, like, oh, your friends, they're dead in Audio, sort of thing. And it's like, oh shit, we're gonna have to go to Audio, Audio, and figure out what the hell's going on. And it was literally 10 steps away. <laughs> like, bro, come on. They tell us there's a curfew, but then refuse us passage back to oh, our homes. You won't survive oh, another night. Go. How am I to sell They're all Rosarian. But this is the. Home. I'm hungry. Uh, just You'll get rid of her. No sucker to the south travelers. Sucker? Nor beyond the Buick. The Empire has seen fit to banish us from our own land. That's a sucker. Anyways, I'd say we just kill her. 
reveal ourselves to be who we are. Don't go thinking you'll find refuge in the houses outside. And then just take over Rosalia. This is a wretched hive of thieves and blackguards. That seems like a good plan to me, dude. Like, like we're royals. We just just kill her, take the throne, and problem solved. No idea if we can actually go this way, but I'm going this way. Off the road. Ooh, big crab. Devil crab. I wonder what you taste like. Now he's probably cooked too. Bro, if there's not eventually a hunt down here of a giant ass crab, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> like, there needs to be a devil crab on crack down here somewhere. Mm, get wrecked. Yeah, so it wasn't really a way to go so much, it's just a tiny detour, but. Silken Strand. Okay. Well, it's the right way. The Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. This looks like such a nice town, really? We should start with the main gates and see where that gets us. Is your goal to just... Bro, I, I never understood, like, why royals would be such dicks to their subjects, you know? Like, if they prosper, you prosper. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Hold on, I have to collect whatever this useless thing is over here. Some crafting material I don't need, or a potion, maybe? Crafting materials I don't really need. Of course. Oh, hi. You were hidden. I did not see you there. Hold on. Before those ones, let's kill these ones that we've already started. Is that it? Yeah. Get wrecked, my guys. All right, <laughs> now that we collected some literally useless baubles. Okay, not literally, that's a little, that's a little much. Practically useless baubles. Back on track. Well, not the villagers. The villagers didn't do anything wrong. Those crystals belong to us all. 
Is that what it's about? Are they hoarding all the crystals and they don't want people using them? We'll need to find another way in. But what good are the crystals really gonna be? If like, you can hoard them all you want, but if there's no one to actually, you know, plow the fields and things like that, then the crystals aren't gonna mean shit. To with the gods. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the <laughs> same. Mean the armored assholes. <laughs> Is that the only way in? <laughs> Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. <laughs> Fucking royals, Lazarus. dude. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? No. As long as it is abandoned. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I guarantee there's going to be something in there. Cutting all the things for the pasta salad? Nice, Noodle. I'm excited for the pasta salad. Black shield since Old Hill. I'm not really hungry at the moment. I'm pretty full after dinner. I had wontons and uh, rice. But... Pasta salad's fucking delicious, so... It's hard to beat that, my guy. I will find room in my stomach to eat a little bit of that before I go to bed. Plus, I mean, I'm not going to bed for another, like, three hours. Like, actually going to sleep. So I'm probably going to get hungry, you know, in the next hour or two. If we're being honest with each other, you know? This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Okay, well, we seem to be being funneled that way. Is there anything up around here? No chests or... Hey, there we go. Ten bloody hides. Nope, ten spools of steel silk. Close, close. Thought I heard a bunch of flies for a second or, or bees just some sort of indiscriminate buzzing maybe it's just the wind playing tricks on my ears Oi, visitors. oh they're just mercenaries Apologies. though dude we'll show ourselves out Bruh, for real, why does so many people want to die? <laughs> like, you could just let us go. We're turning and leaving of our own accord. I'm not. Dumbasses, dude. are dumb <laughs> like, <laughs> that was, oh god sorry mercenary I've dude i've seen one man fight like that and he's long dead then perhaps it's time you joined him bro bro hold it for a second the blessing of the phoenix it can't be I was there when you died. Huh? It's the kid. The younger God. one. Because, like, there was the older one who definitely died. But there was the younger one that was helping us out. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Too bad I just killed a bunch of your guys. <laughs> like... Founder is just like, you know, gods sort of thing. 
He's not calling us the founder. It was just an uh, exp expletive. Yes. Yeah, he was one of the, the royal guard with us. Um, th I think they were called the white shields, if I remember correctly, before the black shields were a thing. But anyways, he was one of the, the shields with us and before the fall of our... The knee. We left Kingdom, before the if you will. Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Why, oh, the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. Seems she apparent. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. Mm. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. Bruh, can we come with you? I want to kill some dicks. This Especially if it means host. going to my mother. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. Let's go. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. Uh, and if you survive this encounter, you can come back to the hideaway and really do the good fight. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Again, it really sucks. I just took out like ten of your men. <laughs> they would probably have come in handy here in a in a moment. I suppose we owe you our thanks. You spared us when you could have just as easily sent us to the mud. Brad, no, y'all were dead. <laughs> I don't care what we'll the game wants us to believe now. <laughs> like so y'all were dead. <laughs> Telling me that's the Archduke's son. In the flesh. Saw him once when I was your age. He had that same look in his eyes. Finally, chicken patty time. Well, enjoy your chicken patty, my love. Allow me to tend to your needs, my lord. <laughs> She's a bit addicted to those things. For anyone that didn't know, Desert Rose. That's new. Despite its rose-like appearance, this delicate sandstone formation found in the deserts of Domekia is no rose, but instead an inexplicable peculiarity of nature. A reminder that humankind will never fully comprehend the world in which we live. It is also said to bring good luck. Huh. 
I'm tempted to buy some. Yeah, screw it, dude. I have no idea what they're used for. But the fact that we can hold, like, so many of them makes me think that anything they could be used for is probably going to be of super course, expensive. Or not, like, expensive, but probably going to take a lot of them. I'll still buy a handful. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady mm -hmm. Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. I'm really happy to see that not everybody just rolled over and started taking orders from you, so our bitch of a mother once our dad died. Perhaps like, will find peace. that there some people rose up. Which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Even if it's been mostly in vain, like... It's just good to know not everybody in the world sucks major ass. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Wait, so does that mean Wade is now part of our company, our group? Bro, I really hope so. The Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was looking for Wade. I, for a moment, I didn't think yeah. he was out here. I thought there was just some ghost talking to us about what was going on. I wish we at least got some, like, fun music or something. Whenever we hopped on the chocobo. Come along now. The bastards are looking. There they are. On your command, my lord. You don't need my command. Just go. <laughs> Just a free straight in. Murder the hell out of them. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! Yeah, I think all of your fancy gold line armor isn't going to do shit for you here in about three seconds. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> did, did I kill half your men already? My bad. Oh no, there's more of them. You guys like tornadoes? <laughs> you look like you could use a nice tornado. <laughs> How about some thunder? Do you like thunder? <laughs> Bro, they're so fucked. <laughs> they have no idea what they're getting into. <laughs> like... 
The wyverns are a nice touch, though. These ones can actually stand up to a bit of damage. Oh. No, stop, stop. Get the big one. Oh, damn it, dude. Okay, you know what? Just die. Oops, he's dead. A dragoon. A stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point that this land is in dire need of cleansing. Really? You know, I don't think there ever has been a good holy cleansing, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about, but I think you're the one that might be a wee bit misguided, not gonna lie. That was the wrong hub. Uh, still not used to having the Ramu icon. Oh, there's more of them now, huh? Hold on. I understand jumping is kind of like the Dragoon thing, but doom. The jumps never work, man. And he dead. GG, my guy. GG. Imperial Link. I think we've I, th I think we've gotten one of those before. I don't think that's new. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards <laughs> straight to the mud. My uh Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. That's why we just need I to deal with our mother. The nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home, and we must fight for it. 
as we always have and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Azolda before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Now, can we go deal with my mother, please? I'm asking pretty please. Like, <laughs> it's all I want in life at the moment is to murder her. And how long has my uncle been funding ah, you? Ah, our uncle plays a role in all Since of this. Beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. So wait, when we were sold off to slavery the to the, the Empire, gods. she told everyone Displayed we died? Those who love Rosaria will know oh god, of course we get the <laughs> we get the mark. Every town has its mark that we gotta get, like <laughs> I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Mm-mm-mm. Good to know he's still alive. Uh, since we got one of those, though, as much as <laughs> it pains me, there's probably some side missions that are about to open up. Some side quests. Side quests in this game kind of suck, I gotta admit. One of the weakest points, man. But it feels wrong not to do them. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. Some awfully thin walls, if we can hear the slip falls that loudly. Means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. <laughs> Brought chill for a moment there. You would mock me as well. <laughs> Show him the flame, dude. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, 
For thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Guessing it's some sort of play we went and saw when I was younger. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. <laughs> Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> Always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle. You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I think we're more worried about people finding out that you, that you know, you use the good plates rather are holding an audience with me and you being killed for it. I think that's more or less what we're worried about. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. But you can't blame yourself, man. <laughs> like... All right. If it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? <laughs> it's not true. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. Our uncle's going to be killed, dude. <laughs> Again, anybody good in this game, I just fully expect to die. <laughs> He's way too merry. 
way too too decent, too nice. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. Poor Jill, dude. She didn't deserve all that shit. I At the end of the day, it all comes back on our freaking mom, though. I feel like we should deal with her first, and then go deal with the crystal. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. <laughs> Get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. I mean, it's a heart touching scene, but was it really necessary, man? <laughs> There's so many damn cut scenes. Oh, really? Return to the hideaway? That I did not expect. And we're still, like, locked out of everything else. It's weird that the hideaway is, like, in the middle of this big lake. But you can see literally no water here. Of course, I guess other than the ocean, right? There isn't any water on the actual map, so... Whoever was paid to make this map kind of uh, missed a, a large detail across the land. Would await us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Ooh, there's another plus sign one. So that's something we definitely want to do. How did? What else do we have? Another, a culinary pilgrimage. I'm Never sure that's going to be interesting. Clive, oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. But normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? 
He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Blackthorn's the smith, right? Yeah, I'll help him Fine. out. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. This is all gonna go terribly wrong somehow. <laughs> Oh, Blackthorn's gonna see us coming, dude. Are there any more hunts posted? Can we do hunts? Are we allowed to... Okay, yeah. We are allowed to go explore. It's weird how, like, it forced us back to the hideaway, and now we can just go do whatever we want. Hello, Nectar. Any new hunts? Nah, still just the same three, but that's fine. Clairview Sambrek. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to you in a moment. I want to do all the side shit first. We could have sworn we had a few. You more what? Is, is it something important missing? God, I hope not. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? It's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. Ah, <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. So what kind of foul uh, creature no, do we have to see. down First for you? <laughs> I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Depends. Is it going to be worm based? <laughs> like Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine. Om nom nom. Well, all you like worm based recipes? Fantastic. Is that is that Thank it? So, <laughs> I'm sure you're talking about your chicken patties, but uh, bad timing, Chances love. Stew. It was once a favorite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. <laughs> Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn. But unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. Interesting, okay. So... Is it those stupid plants that, <laughs> that we just had to go kill for... For the boat, dude. People don't just stand there gawping. Feel like it's some way related. Still nothing new, like sword-wise or anything. Weird. Ah, that's kind of nice. The wages of Warcraft. Increase ability points or earned in normal uh, normal encounters by 20%. I don't really care so much about the experience. Ooh, all of these aren't bad, though. The gill seems a little pointless, to be honest with you. Because it's pretty rare that there's something I actually care about buying. But the extra ability points would be nice. 11 grand, fuck it. It'd better all be here. We'll equip that and... Uh, fuck it, why not? Let's get the gill. <laughs> I don't think the gill's actually necessary in any way, but screw it. Why not, dude? Maybe there will be something neat that ends up coming, coming up. And... Where's the other one? 
Burning blade damage. Is it sorted by when we got it? No. Three skill earned. Wait. Three skill earned. Pet commands. Griffin's head braid? No. Where's the thing we just bought? Bro, I'm so confused. Badge of Might. Breath of Wind. Where did it go? <laughs> we just bought it. Items? Did it just steal our money and not give us anything? Okay, hold on. System, when's the last save point? Load. 158. That was only a couple minutes ago. Oh, wait, that was the 7th. Was Is that... Yeah, okay, that's today. That's the autosave. Screw it, then. Because I, I think it just stole our money and didn't give us anything. <laughs> like, my best guess is... It has something to do with, like, equipping the item both times. That quite a lot. So, like, it overrode it or something and pain. never actually put it into our inventory? It's the only thing I can think. Right, because it was... Yeah, the Wages of Warcraft. We spent hey, 15 grand on that yet. thing. No, don't equip. And then the Golden Seven Testament. Blind, Don't know. equip. Is that all? Yeah, it's here now. Dude, that's a glitch and a half. <laughs> that's... Because not only did we lose the item, or the gold, but the we lost the item. So, like, that would have really sucked, man. Because you can only buy, like, one of each item, too. Unless, maybe if we sell it, it would have let us buy another one. But I guess... Well, no, because, like, we've sold our broadsword, haven't we? See, like, these items are only available to buy once. Bruh, that's so broken. I'm glad I realized that, like, right away. What's up, Blackthorn? First August, and now you. What do you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. Phil shut you up. It's nothing, really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you'd bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. Now, every time I reach for my hammer, 
I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right. We're going. Wait, what if I, like, get it for you or something? I'm assuming it's not available in the shop now. Or you would have just went and collected it yourself. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all, a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work, which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Who Karen, then, huh? The lady who sold me shit and stole my other shit, apparently. <laughs> Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of some it. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He doesn't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rides. I see. He did tell me something, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe? Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. Is that the one I've been talking about, Wanda? Track down, or is that so, the one I already killed? It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunt into you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. It's got to be a different one, right? Use the hump board to locate the griffin. Maybe it's like one that doesn't appear until we accept the quest. So otherwise, it'd be really awkward. Like, <laughs> we get there, things already dead. Uh, what do we do now? Hello, Nectar. By far the best character in the game. Is it, is it actually, like, here? Ah, there is a new one added. And they're both in Sam Breck, which is cool. We can probably knock out two with one go. Um, okay, sure. Ask about Griffin sightings, then. Did I hear you say you were hoping to hunt down a Griffin, Kupo? Then do I have the billet for you, Kupo? An especially horrible one. The locals call Dawes Mare. Yep, I mean, I kind of already looked at it, not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you, though, Nectar. Wait. Okay. Did I, did I not do that already? Okay. I, I see it. Close. Why is it still pointing me there? I think it's a little broken. Uh, game? B 
Bruh, because I went to the view the hunt board first, did that break it? Are we suddenly running into like all kind of glitches that we never saw before? Do we have to like talk to what's his name again? And it's just not updating the quest log? He was back here by the smith still, right? August, I think his name was. Yeah. That monster. That level worker is even after crafts on the blackboard. Says someone's bound to have heard of him. Oh, well, don't just stand there gawping. Sarah, then. Bruh. <laughs> Here's the thing, like, I don't know if the game's, if it's broke, or if I just need to go hunt the thing down now, and then come back. When's the last autosave? 208, that was three minutes ago. Sure, load. That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. He's not Use the hump board to locate the griffin, okay. And this time, we'll just go straight to asking him about the hunt instead of checking the hunt board. See if it does anything different. Ask about griffin sightings. Ooh. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing we just have to go and find it now. It's weird that the quest marker still shows it, like, there. But, I mean, we reloaded the game. We talked to him directly about it this time before looking at it. I don't know what else we could possibly do. Ex excuse me, sir. I'm trying to get through here. Uh, I do, though, before we go and check that out real quick. Mr. Hate? Blackthorn, sir. Rude. Um, <laughs> I would like to use the forge if you don't mind. Do you have anything new for us? You do not. That it. Lame. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reinforce. Solid. No. Okay. <laughs> It was worth just making sure real quick. In that case, then off to San Breck, where there are two different interesting hunts. We do need to stop by here as well. Martha's Rest. And there is a hunt to do over here in the Broken Hilt. We'll deal with that later, I think, though. I want to do the hunt first. Where is... Sam Breck. It must be this section over here by Lost Wing. Care nor vent. Okay. Yes. There's Clairview. Shoot, where was the other one? <laughs> I forget now. <laughs> well, I know one was near Claire nor vent. At the very least. Valley, or about Downs. And Clairview, rather. So screw it, yeah, let's go here. And then we'll just run around in circles until we find the things. Two of them, specifically. There should be two different hunts. One important to the side quest, and then one that's just here somewhere. Oh, and then actually, 2,479. Is that enough ability points to... Yes, it is. The Judgment Bolt. I would like to buy that, please. Thank you. And now we can get rid of... Honestly, I want to get right rid of this, but <laughs> that's not an option. <laughs> um... I guess Thunderstorm.
for just a more powerful version of it being judgment bolt <laughs> nice dude I wonder how much damage that actually does though All right, let's go. We're looking for something big, <laughs> a couple big things. One of which is a griffin, apparently. I mean, we could probably run, but I don't have it in me. Damn you. It's probably not back this way, but I am going to check. I really can't remember where the, the griffin is. <laughs> the one that we're actually here to to catch. Or to, to kill, rather. Which is terrible, because like, we were just looking at the board. when this gate will open to us. It is nice to see more and more of the map opening up slowly as time goes on to give us a little bit more options for exploration. Like it seems it feels a little defeated by the fact that like we've already explored these areas before you know. Can it jump? You can. And you can glide? That's cool. Okay, I don't think it's here. I think it's over there in those fields. I think is where we actually want to go. Straight home now. Oh, you're just a gazelle. I'm like, whoa, what are you? You're actually nothing interesting. My bad. I mean, we can kill them. I don't think it does anything for us, though, does it? Or antelope, not gazelle. Oh, we actually do get experience and ability points for it. Just not much, and they don't really fight back, so I kind of feel bad. Dragon's Airy? I mean, maybe? Oh, there's a chest we missed before. Unless these respawn as well, that's a possibility. Magic to Ash, meh. Not something we particularly needed. I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to clear view first and then circle around. There's no coin to be had in this miserable land. Even if they wanted to trade with us. I know. It was hard for us Dalmex here in Sandbrek before the capital fell, but now. It'd be stoned if we Are you. Are you a big beastie? What are you? Like you look... Wind. You look like something. Are you rude? <laughs> you... Maybe? You look like a harpy. I mean, there was a lot of harpies here at one point, but... I thought they all kind of died off when Garuda fell off. Nope. Never mind. I guess you are. 
the bounty. Nice. About. <laughs> Ow, I can't see anything because of my freaking tornado. Come on, there we go. Get wrecked, dude. You bastard. <laughs> Circles not dodge. I do that constantly, man. Ah, uh, she's too far away. That was just bad on my part. Come on, go down. Thank you. Just all the powers, dude. Come on. <laughs> you still have like a quarter health left. Well, fifth. Fifth health left. 23,000 almost, though. Not bad. I'll take it. down my dude you're so close one more hit literally one more that's all we needed get wrecked lady okay that's two of four down rest well i know i will i wonder if those count for the 20 percent bonus ap i didn't pay attention to how much ap we got from the fight but it says like normal fights. I'm assuming that would count as a normal fight, even though it's like a rank thing or whatever. Or not a rank thing, a, a hunt thing. Okay, now where was it, dude? I don't think we're going to get any clues here in the journal since the quest marker never actually updated. Uh, use the hunt board to locate the griffin. Yeah, I kind of did. Kind of. <laughs> I read it, but I've forgotten. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel that. Chocobo, thank you. Let's go for a quick ride, my guy, shall we? Um, go to the dragon airy. I wonder how the whorehouse is doing since we've come through last, man. Is this town still alive or did the town, like, die off since we destroyed the crystal? All right. 
Ah, uh, no, there are still people me, yeah. here. It's not where we're going, though. Let's go. Looks like there's a path over here. See, this is why I don't usually ride mounts, dude. I know I could just ignore the creatures and just go on without killing them, but that feels wrong to me, man. Something's attacking me. I gotta attack back. Collect that experience. Get them AP points. Our 20 gil or whatever it wants to give us. 8 gil. <laughs> The rewards are such trash, man. <laughs> okay, so is this a bridge hidden up here? Aha! The Dragon's Airy. Is there a big scary thing around here anywhere? For Lobos? No. Wasn't there something like... That's the way out. Maybe over here. Because like tucked away back like that looks like a perfect place for some big scary creature to hide to me. up there we've been up there before okay I'm gonna go up to that man <laughs> oh don't attack the whatever goodbye cantaloupe sorry you weren't the one I wanted but wait did the antelopes get pissed off at us since when have the antelopes been aggro? See nothing over there. So I guess up's the only real way to go then. Unless it's back towards the... I guess if we just even touch the antelopes they get aggro, which... Fair, I mean... Oh, you bastard. Why don't we just come to a stop, dude? I'm still going up here, man. If nothing else, maybe there will be something cool in a chest up here. The one decent thing we found in a chest so far was outside of a thing like this. Oh shit, it might have actually been this one now that I'm looking at it. Well, the only other place I can think to look around here is here. Oh wait. Ooh, this is open now. I don't... We either missed that when we came through here before or that wasn't open one or the other. Oh, it looks like the chests do respawn. I wonder if it's going to be the same drop or something new. Or is the loot randomized and just like very heavily geared towards being shit? Kestrel Beak Braid. Now, I think that is the same thing I got before. Kestrel Beak Braid. Increases down thrust, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, it was Griffin's head breed last time. Huh, okay. So it's either different based on when you pick it up, or maybe it's like a, a list. Like the first time you pick it up, it's this. Second time, it's this. Something. Or it was just a different tower that we 
explored before and happen to get a, a similar piece of loot from. Ah, oh, that's right. It's the gold one. Okay. I wonder if there's fall damage. Is there any cliff you can jump down that's big enough to actually damage you? What are you? You're a little bit bigger than the other things running around here. Is it you or you? Dragon Avis? No. I mean, we'll kill it, but this isn't what we're looking for. For a level 15 thing, it's got a lot of health. Damn it. Moment too late. That was a waste. Oops. The way that sun reflects off of the <laughs> lake there, bright as hell, man. Blinding me a little bit over here. Okay, so what is back here? Ooh, okay, yeah, this looks good. There's a little area off to the side, secluded, perfect for a, a griffin. Per chance. Is it should I should mark it. The croc. What is Heaven Hall? Okay, we're gonna go down that path in a moment, but what is this building up here? Marked as a point of interest. Some old church, maybe? Or maybe a, uh, not a tavern, but, you know, a place where travelers would have stayed. A hotel of sorts. I guess it could have been a tavern. Well, it's too bad there's, like, nothing here. <laughs> cool building out in the middle of the nowhere. All you get for seeing it is black blood. <laughs> A relatively common crafting ingredient. Good stuff. Is there a griffin hiding back here, though? Hmm. Not looking like it, sadly. Unless it's going to, like, swoop down when we come in here. Damn, looks like a big fat nothing. Okay, um... Royal Meadows the Moor? Norvent Valley. Norvent Valley sounds somewhat familiar. Well, I know, okay, I know traveling through here doesn't take long, so we're going to start here, go to Lost Wing, and then I think come up around toward Cairnorvent River Gate. By the time I find this damn thing, we probably could have just traveled back to the hideaway, reread the board, and then came back, but I refuse, damn it. Okay, we want to come here. Yeah, it's probably not going to be here, just like in these people's fields. I didn't really think about that, but I'd probably make a bigger deal about it if it was just destroying these people's crops. I'm like racking my brain trying to remember where the hell the thing Tell was supposed to be, but welcoming Lost Wing anytime. Both for the coin they spend and Yeah, I didn't really care, guys, sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I was kinda hoping 
you would just contextually be aware that I was searching for the griffin and say something along the lines of, hey, there's a griffin around these parts that's really been terrorizing the townspeople. Not the cellar passage. Wouldn't expect anything over there. Though I could be completely wrong. That may be where it ends up uh, hiding out at, for all I know. I think we gotta go up to go the way I'm wanting to go. Up and then around this way? Yeah. What I should have done when I was on the hunt board, I didn't think about it. I always forget that you can put markers on the map. But we should have saw like the rough area where it was and then just popped a pin there. Probably would have been the best idea. <laughs> Something to keep in mind for the future though when we're doing the other hunts. Like the one that's in uh, around Court Rosalia. Which we kind of need to go to anyways to deal or to speak with Martha. Any signs of a griffin around here? Like trees knocked over? A nesting ground? Nobody's seen anything out of the ordinary? What do griffins eat? Chickens? <laughs> Any chickens missing from the local farmer's coop? I don't... Oh. You look like a griffin to me, dude. Nope. Shit. <laughs> yeah, no, never mind. You're much scalier than I thought you were. <laughs> I take it back. You don't look like a griffin to me. Wrong attack. My bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> whatever. He's dead. Okay, yeah. Check this little thing off to the side here. This little tail. It appears to just be Wargans. Oh, when do we pick up potions? Oh, whatever. Pop a couple of them real quick. Then get our health refilled before we do find them. Be nice to fight them on a full health bar. Yeah. Oh, nope, never mind. I saw something large off in the distance got excited. It looks nothing like a griffin. <laughs> it's a giant scorpion looking thing. You gonna get your shower? Enjoy your shower, love. If it's not here, we'll load back into the hideaway, check real quick, and then come back. Got a little turned around for a moment. Uh, Griffin, sir. Honestly, after destroying the crystal, I thought this area would be much more... I don't know. Not dead, per se, but... Less populated? Less vicious? Because wasn't the whole thing that they kept saying is that all these vicious creatures kept moving into peaceful areas in search of food because of the blight and us destroying the crystal was supposedly to help remove the blight but so far our mission hasn't seemed to help anything <laughs> honestly it's just made some very powerful people very angry Get 
this the end of the road yeah what is this a chronolith what do chronoliths do it's the same as the one back at the hideaway doesn't seem to be working though Hmm, so something for later, I guess. Interesting, though. It's broken? What's broken? Is the stream broken? Is my voice broken? My camera? No, everything... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem I'm doing anything wrong. The thingy? Oh! <laughs> the chronolith. <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly make for easy prey. Oh! Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Okay, we're talking about the griffin. I presume that means it's close. Am I blind as shit? Where's this griffin at? Is it a troll? Does it live under the bridge? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It comes down. I thought it'd be like all the other hunts just chilling on the ground waiting for us. Rank B. So this is going to be a bit harder, I imagine, than the other ones we've dealt with. Pretty griffin? Hopefully a dead griffin here soon. Oh, can you make your own little, little, uh, tornado? I can do that too, but mine's a little bit larger. <laughs> Bro, I can't see shit. Every time I use this, I'm just so blind. Okay, your stagger gauges. Not easy to take down. Oh, damn it. Come on, stagger. Hit him, dude. There we go. He's got a lot of health, though. He's not going to be an easy one to take down. That was fancy. That was that was dumb. How? Oh shit, dude. <laughs> I was waiting for that to trigger. I thought I'd hit the button. Damn you with your backing up all the time. That's not going to work. Come 
Come on, go down. Oh, you bastard. All the abilities, dude. <laughs> I keep forgetting to jump over that. That's the first attack I can think of that we actually have to like jump to dodge. So, so jumping just like never crosses my mind. I hope Noodle's okay. <laughs> the house just shook there for a moment. If you can hear, are you okay, love? Got this. Just kill him. He's got like a hit left. Oh, you bastard. Okay, two hits. My bad. <laughs> nice. All the stuffs. Thank you. Thank you. Scarletite. One of the hardest metals known to man. Nice. Sorry about that, Griffin. I had to kill you to make my friend happy, so. Something that boy. Could that be our man? Only one way to find out. Go and say hello. Howdy, sir. Are you all right? Dare yeah. say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. Consider yourself very lucky, my that guy. <laughs> I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? <laughs> She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. Explain the story. Can you make us another one or teach our guy how to? Whatever we need to do to make him happy. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art, and not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... But... Actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Whoa, 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 now. I don't sure remember ever saying you could have the hide of that griffin myself, I took down. That is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In Bruh, case, are you working for a company that's that stopping you it. from telling trade secrets? Like, if you would. <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure there's no law against make. you sharing your knowledge with a you fellow craftsman. My regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. Only one way to find out. 
get the hell out of here. <laughs> Go back and say hello to him. And that does seem to have advanced the quest too, which I was a little bit worried about since it never recognized us checking out the hunt board. My guess is it's just a weird way that it's set up. The quest is set up. That monster's taking quite a liking to me. And with a bit of luck. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this. Along with his regards. You're joking. Was that a good you're joking? I'm thinking it was. I'm hoping it was. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. <sighs> so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. Oh, obvious. That's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm, oh, this mm -hmm. is fine work. Even finer than I thought. I mean, yeah. any layman could have told you I'll that. Take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, maybe not yeah. any layman. Clive, you didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out he's from Tabor, and again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. <sighs> Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. That's why he didn't want to tell. Fair himself. enough, fair enough. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. So can it's you use to that to make me some cool shit, Blackthorn? That's what I care about. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what hides to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. So nice to see that guy happy. Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. Be no I time at all before anyway. he's drowning himself in a bottle no again, I'm sure. On like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. So that one had a big plus sign on it. Surely that means we're going to get something nice for it, right? Drake Slayer's belt design draft? Necessary for... Okay. It's a curiosity. What do we do with recipes? We give them to him, I presume? You have obtained the design draft for the Drake Slayer's belt. Design drafts unlock new crafting options at the Black Hammer. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, What'd okay. What do you want? Uh, apparently I would like a new belt. Electrum. How do we get Electrum? <laughs> and with a cry that echoed through the sky, she thrust her sword down into the mighty Drake's nape. Life having escaped the Elder Worm, he went crashing to the sea where his corpse lay unmoving yet unsinking. It's definitely better than what we have. And I'm assuming since it's got that weird little, like, I forget their names, but the tomato with a body. <laughs> that that looks like a hunt symbol to me. Maybe. Oh, Drake Slayer's bracelets, too. Need a gelatinous mass. Hmm, too bad we can't make a sword out of it, though. 
A Drake Slayer sword? That sounds pretty cool. Anything else? Not for now, Blackthorn. Anyways, guys, it's getting late. I'm super tired, and I have to work tomorrow, sadly, so I think that's going to be it tonight. I can't remember if tomorrow is grounded or <laughs> if tomorrow is uh, more of this. But we'll be doing one or the other tomorrow night, so those of you who can be there, I do hope to see you then. And if you can't, well, have a good night tomorrow, guys. And tonight, of course. Until then, thank you all one more time, and be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you see those monsters are also the victims of Umbrella? Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. Ah, how sweet. Hey, Noodle. Glad you can make it, love. Sorry. I feel so useless. Don't kind of are useless, TBH. The wounds to prove it. But I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. Well, dude bro's gonna be a zombie here in a moment, so, uh... <laughs> That's good, man. Happy about that. Some of the parts seem to be out of order. Power cable is disconnected. Fuse is broken. Oil has been used up. Yeah, we got all that. Let's dump some oil in this bitch and get going. Fuck this menu's taking forever to load. Come on now. What are the chances she's gonna hook up with him before that? Zero. Like, I don't think it's gonna happen, man. <laughs> now nah, she's got the hots for that other guy. The one that we were with in the, uh, the gas station, right? That's who she wants to hook up with. power cable look at that man all we need is some oil and this bitch will be going in no time wait what what do you mean oil alone this is not enough for this machine what some of the parts seem to be out of order mixed oil has been used up fuck what else do we need? <laughs> I could not save my men. I'm sorry you couldn't save your men, but like we've been everywhere. What else do we need? We got oil. Oil is not enough. So wait, do we need like we need like a gas can or something? Fuck, man. I